when the archdiocese re uh, referred to him as uh, a gentle priest, you know, that is very reflective of his, um, his person, you know, because he was a very gentle soul. Catholic Social Services Executive Director Diana Calvo first met Monsignor David Kidigua back in 1979. He was a founding member of the Catholic-based organization dedicated to helping the island's needy. We've had some really good chats, you know, conversing with him at the rectory and him sharing, you know, his thoughts on what's transpiring in the in the new years, if you will, you know, the very the differences between then in the 70s and what's happening now, you know, um, and he's a very intelligent person and you know, I personally will miss him. Congressman Michael San Nicholas, who was the Monsignor's nephew, confirmed he had passed away from COVID-19 in a release stating, quote, this hurts bad. In a time of much pain and ugliness, it was always reassuring to know that a man of such holiness as Monsignor Kitagua was not only there as a spiritual guide, but as family. This past year has been hard and it is made harder still. But Lord, we declare that all good things come from you. He was of you. We present his soul to you and we pledge in our pain, our devotion to you. Amen. Monsignor Quiragua was the pastor of San Juan Bautista Catholic Church in Ordot. He had served as pastor there since September of 1993, before his retirement four years ago. Archbishop Michael Burns extended his deepest prayers and condolences to the Quiragua family, his fellow clergymen, and all in our Catholic Church and community in general. Although the Joint Information Center did not identify Monsignor Quiragua as Guam's 28th COVID-related fatality, a press release stated that an 84-year-old man with underlying health conditions was admitted to GMH on September 3rd and tested positive for COVID. He passed away on Tuesday around 4.30 in the afternoon. We will miss him and, um, you know, we have staff that's reached out to the family uh, to just offer our support if for whatever that thing would be. The Archdiocese will release more information regarding masses and rosaries in the days to come.